A recent study found men with low social competence demonstrated more empathy after a few squirts of oxytocin in a nasal spray. Dr. Holly Phillips of WCBS-TV is here with more on what's called the cuddle chemical. Great to see you, Dr. <laughs> Good Phillips. Good morning, Rebecca. And this cuddle chemical, it's oxytocin. How does it work? What does it do? Where do we find it? Sure. Well, oxytocin is actually a naturally occurring hormone. It's secreted by the pituitary gland in our brains. Now, uh, women secrete more of the hormone than men, and it's usually secreted most around childbirth. And it's thought to really help with bonding, uh, empathy with others, communication. Um, and part of the reason it's secreted so much during childbirth is it helps the mother bond with the child and form those attachments after birth, but it might also have some other uses. <laughs> other uses, for example, like making men nicer that this study showed. Where would you find, if you wanted to go out and purchase it right now, is there a place where you could buy it? No, it is, it is prescription only, and it's really only used in labor and delivery. So doctors have to prescribe it to women, and it induces labor. Um, it's not yet used in this context. But really, this was an interesting study. Researchers looked at 27 men uh, and gave them what was called an empathetic accuracy test. It's basically a score of, our, of the social competence. Now, men who had the lowest score going in who took the oxytocin nasal spray were thought to be more sensitive, more understanding, and more empathetic afterwards. So we saw the actual study did show that these men were uh, nicer afterwards. Yeah. In terms of the practical applications for this study, what are scientists getting at here? Right. Well, the researchers were interested in doing this study primarily uh, because they think it might be of benefit for people who have social anxiety disorders mm -hmm. or in some syndromes like autism and the autism spectrum disorders. It might help with people. Uh, it might help people build those attachments and bonding um, that can be problems in those disorders. But it's still a ways away. It's not something that's going to be used right now. We have to look at the side effect profile and see how much benefit um, it might be. Uh, and and it, the application for those insensitive boyfriends is still <laughs> way down the line. Dr. Holly Phillips, thank you so much. We appreciate you being with us here. Sure. Such Anytime. an interesting topic.